Awesome. So what are some of the highlights that have happened in your life in 2020? Oh man, some of the highlights. Um, some of the highlights that have happened in my life in 2020, I've learned how to do so much with my hands. I've learned how to make things. Um, I've learned how to cook food for my family, which has been actually like such a joy. And then um, also my band got signed to a label, which is really, really fun. Um, rope dope is such an amazing label and Tiny Room, uh, the office set that we're signed to is an even more amazing group of people. I'm so excited to keep working with them and to kind of merge our visions and see where that leads. And then also um, some exciting things I can't quite share yet, but I'll be able to share uh, next week. Um, one of my like music legends were performing in a concert of his, a virtual concert of his um, in December. So that's very exciting. Yay. And then December 11th, our, our album comes out, uh, Shadow People. So 2020, man, it's had its ups and downs, but it's been good stuff. Finally, the album's coming out. I feel like we've been waiting finally. for this album for so long. And now <laughs> finally, December 11th is actually air, the air date for this. Oh my gosh. So it's out today. Go listen on Spotify, iTunes, wherever you listen to music. Yes. <laughs> so did you ever imagine uh, you would be able to get to be offered your Broadway debut and release an album in the same year? Um, no way. I mean, life just kind of hands you these beautiful lessons and of course, this year has been crazy. And I was actually just talking to my therapist about <laughs> how, you know, how completely unprecedented this year has been and how you couldn't have planned it if, if you tried. Um, so I think it just goes to show how you got to keep making those plans and setting those goals. But life's always going to happen the way it does. And the universe always rearranges those plans and goals. Um, <laughs> to how it, how it happens, you know? I'm really grateful though that it's, that it's been this year uh, because I've had a lot of time to like think about that and, and be grateful for that, so. Yes, my dad uh, told, really wants to go back to New York and I wanna go to, to, to see shows and stuff and I said, we're going to see Marina and Aladdin. I don't care what you yeah. say, we are going, <laughs> I don't care what you say, we are, that's the one show we are going to, you're seeing Marina and Aladdin. Hopefully when Broadway comes back, please. Girl, we're, we're all praying and hoping and wishing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what are some of the goals you had for 2020 that you hoped that you weren't able to do in 2020 that you hope will happen in 2021? Um, one of the goals I had in 2020 was to uh, tour our music. Uh, yeah. That was actually, a pr before we, we had the record label, um, we were you know, planning our, being our own managers and marketing team and touring managers. And we were trying to do it all ourselves. Yeah. Um, and we were planning, you know, small shows, like more intimate shows like coffee shops. And um, we wanted to really tour the whole U.S. and maybe even parts of Brazil where I'm from and yeah. um, just get people into it and get people to hear it in another way. And um I, I still hope that's something that happens next year, uh, something that we can do safely, hopefully, and uh, and that we can do better with, yeah. with all of the stuff that we're learning this year. You know about streaming, and uh, we've, oh, yeah. we've gained a lot of a lot of tools that way. So hopefully oh, we yeah. can put them together. If you ever if you ever in Detroit, you know who to hit up. Girl, I love Detroit. Let me tell you something. That was one of my favorite spots on tour. And I okay. got a dress in the, um, oh my God, what's the building that the theater is in? The Fisher? The Fisher. The Fisher building, there's this beautiful little shop that I remember to this day. It was so cool. It has like little baubles and cards and things, mm -hmm. but it also has um, some really cool clothes. And I remember I got like an opening night dress there for, for the LA party where Gloria Stefan was there and... Stevie Wonder and Sheila E. And I was like, I need a dress. I need to get this dress. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I know exactly what story you're talking about because Do as you? you're walking to the theater, like from like, not like the back door where like all the artists come in, uh -huh. but like the front door, you know exactly where that is. Yes. It's, really, it's by, the, by the Comerica Bank ATM. That's absolutely it. And there's like a little juice or a coffee shop or something next to it. Yeah. Oh, such a cool I place. I love that building. And Detroit is really like, I, di I didn't get to spend enough time there, obviously, because on tour, we're just there for a week, but we had really good times. I just remember everybody was in a good mood that week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I always tell people when you're in Detroit, you know who to hit up. Absolutely. Bam. What? has it been like quarantining with the Wagadni family? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, it's really been way more pleasant than I ever would have expected quarantining with my significant other's family members to be. Um, they are such kind humans and they're so great about, you know, giving people their space and they're 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 just wonderful people and uh i i love that we have like family dinners and breakfast and we go on walks it's been really lovely and uh i you know can't wait to visit them again to see the finished basement because when we Ooh. got there the basement flooded like at the very beginning of quarantine the basement flooded oh my god this was like a whole debacle it's been a whole debacle all of quarantine is like deciding what to do with the basement now that it's waterproofed and everything yeah so we have to go back we have to go back and see the basement <laughs> oh yeah so what do you miss about new york oh my god everything um oh, new york is uh not everybody's cup of tea and it's not always my cup of tea either. You know, living there, I think you can get really disillusioned with why you're there. Mm -hmm. um, but having this much distance <laughs> has definitely made my heart miss New York so much. I really miss um, just the day-to-day -day there. I miss the feeling of having, um, having coffee at my bodega down the street and getting a croissant and just walking forever like down the west side highway mm -hmm. i miss the just the inspiration that i get from random people seeing so many kinds of people living in harmony and i mean not always in harmony but yeah uh living side by side i think that's that's the biggest thing I miss about New York is, is being able to see so many people who are so different living side by side and, and existing and struggling together and yeah. still managing to find beauty. What was the last show you saw before shutdown and quarantine? Well, the last show I saw was Aladdin because <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the show every night. Um, but right before that, I think I actually saw uh, Diana. Ooh, that was the tourist oh, that was supposed to be here, but... Yes, right, exactly, um, and uh, was so, I mean, everybody in that musical was so talented, my God, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I saw it with my friend, I remember uh, the cast of Moulin Rouge was also there, because it was on, I think, I can't remember what day Aladdin had off, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday, but we had off the same day as they did. And then my friend, Sam Khan, who did uh, On Your Feet with me on tour, uh, invited me to go see that show. And I remember we were already, you know, starting to feel the talks of COVID and everybody was starting to be aware. And I had hand sanitizer and I was already, you know, like being really aware, wearing my scarf around my face and, um, I remember having the thought in the theater, like, oh my gosh, this might be the last show that I see for a while. This might be the last time we're all in a theater mm -hmm. this close together. Yeah. And the next time, when it all comes back, you'll be on that stage. Girl, ain't it the truth? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> like, Why couldn't I fly so far? <laughs> <laughs> no, and that Luke keeps bringing up, like, the fact that a whole new world is going to mean so many more things to me yeah. when I sing it. Like how that's going to feel singing 
because it will be the world is completely transformed and and to to have that added layer of like holy moly that's going to be really intense to sing i don't know how i'm going to get through it besides gonna, it, you know being my debut and everything but you're great it's going to be more than a standing <laughs> ovation when that song oh it's going to be more than a standing ovation i feel because of the meaning of the song and what we've all gone through and all of the stuff that's going on in the world like i feel like it's going to be way more than just a standing ovation it's going to be a longer standing ovation oh yeah i mean it's we're all going to be we're all going to be applauding all of our efforts you know if anything all of our experiences this year oh yeah a whole new world is right honey yes <laughs> what is your favorite part about the holiday season Oh my gosh. Um, I grew up actually in South Florida um, and I grew up going to Brazil for Christmas. And in Brazil, December is the summer. It's the summertime because you're below the equator. So um, I grew up without white Christmases and I never had snow and like cozy fireplaces. So that ends up being like one of my favorite parts of, of the holiday season is feeling cold. <laughs> And cozy um, and being able to wrap up in a blanket I, but like from the indoors I don't need to go outside in the snow I don't need to like you know I could I could take like a week of that mm-hmm. um, but yeah feeling cozy in, inside and lighting a fire was the first time you saw snow like on tour or in New York or somewhere like that I actually I went to school in Ohio I went to college in Columbus Ohio Oh. Uh, well, in Westerville, Ohio, which is a suburb of Columbus, um, at a school called Otterbein University. And that I actually remember the first time we all saw snow together. We were outside the, um, like the cafeteria. We didn't yeah. call it that. But um, we were outside like the student center in the cafeteria and it yeah, started yeah, snowing. Yeah. And it was like me and five Texans. And we were all like, oh my God. <laughs> it was like the most majestic thing was happening. Yeah. And um, I remember like two weeks before we were all, you know, making uh, like in the fall leaves, like enjoying the autumn, autumn vibes. So oh, yeah. it's it's just a lot of firsts. Taking advantage of the weather changes because in the Midwest, oh yes, you get all four seasons. Sometimes in the same week. Oh, totally! <laughs> like two weeks ago. Here. Yeah. Oh, I, that was so funny. I was in Chicago still. We had a, a full week of like seventy-two degrees. I was like, "Why are we going to Florida?" <laughs> yeah, it's like one day I was walking to school when I had in-person school. Mm-hmm. One day I was walking with like my fleece, and then the next day I was wearing a t-shirt. Oh my gosh. Yep. That's the Midwest. <laughs> oh, yeah. What your favorite food to eat during the holiday season? Oh, my favorite food to eat during the holiday season would have to be, I, I just love the combination of like sweet potatoes, brus- I made this the other day, actually, sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, um, like a f- grain, like farro or barley or wheat berries or something, and then uh, pecans and cranberries, just like that savory and sweet combination. I'm a big yeah. fan. You're like the chef. You're a baker. <laughs> Thank you. The chef. the chef. All my friends must call me the chef now. Thank you. I'm going to tell them <laughs> Jamie said so. <laughs> it's like you, you cooked for Luke's family. Now your, bro- your brother and sister-in-law are probably like, I don't have to cook. Marina's gonna cook. You know they're uh, they're big meat eaters, and I we're we don't eat a lot of meat. So um, I don't say we're vegan because we eat fish and we eat eggs. Yeah. But but we're we're mostly plant based eaters. Mm-hmm. So I've been making things, and then they'll make. You know they've they've been trying it. It's only been three days. We're good so far, but yeah. you know I don't know how long it'll last. But yeah, we'll see. <laughs> what has been your favorite gift that you've gotten from Luke for the holidays? Oh my gosh. Um, uh, I got a little Instax camera. The little like Polaroid oh, yeah. camera. Polaroid? Yeah, it's not a Polaroid. It's, a, it's another brand, but mm-hmm. it's the same, same yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, I just love, I love having that around. It's so nice to be able to, um, I remember also 
during on, on tour, uh, it was so nice to have all my little Polaroid like at yeah. my disposal so that I could decorate my station and so they could just bring me a little, little bit of home. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are some of your favorite holiday traditions? Oh, I just love seeing family. I just love, I love lights, twinkle lights. I'm a, I'm like a twinkle lights all year round kind of gal. Yeah. Um, so I love the, the lights. Favorite holiday tradition. I just like cooking for people. Again, the chef. I just like yeah. seeing people eat and be fat and happy and <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> yeah, like eat too much and unbutton your pants. Like that's, that's my goal. <laughs> Will there be a Princess Jasmine ornament on your Christmas tree this year? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> oh, you're going to make me cry. I, uh, told, I hope so. I told Caroline Bowman, I'm like, you need an Elsa uh, ornament for Christmas tree this year. It, it'll make people- That's a really good idea. I hadn't thought about that, and I'm going to put it on my list now. It's like, she's like, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> like. If you ever play a Disney character, that Disney character should be on your Christmas tree. Be on your Christmas You've tree. got to for the rest of forever. <laughs> yes, totally. Uh, describe your 2020 in one word and describe what you hope your 2021 will be like. Wow. Um, 2020 has been a huge year of introspection. So that's my word, introspection. And then I hope that 2021 will bring a lot of adventure because that's what I miss the most. I miss, mm-hmm. I miss that adventuring spirit and that freedom I felt in 2019. Um, yeah. But I think with, with the introspection will come a lot of internal growth and internal freedom and then yeah. we'll find our way back. So yeah, totally. back to a better place, back to a whole new world. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs>